News is also your election headquarters, and tonight we're learning about Hardin County ESD number seven, Proposition A. This is going to be on the ballot come November 7th, and if voters approve it, it would turn the Votaw Thicket Volunteer Fire Department into a new emergency services district. The chief there, Bobby Love, says the department is barely getting by, and this decision, this proposition, really could be a game changer. Yeah, 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman joins us in studio in Ebony. There are seven ESCs in Hardin County right now, so this would be the eighth. Our guys, Chief Love says it would be the only ESD located in Thicket, Vota, and Big Thicket Retreat. Communities they love serving so much, but now they want to do more by becoming an emergency services district. The um, grants that we have available, uh, a lot of these grants we don't qualify because we're not an ESD. When Chief Bobby Love opens the door to the Vota Thicket Volunteer Fire Department, it reveals some outdated equipment and weary trucks, but more importantly, a potential to do more. We're looking for ESD, which would give us the extra funding to take care of the equipment, purchase new equipment, extend our training. Right now, the Volunteer Fire Department is relying on the kindness of the community to keep them going. Here we have a barbecue, and we have a car show, and we have a turkey shoot throughout the year and uh, that brings us about around seven thousand dollars. Chief Love says it's just enough to cover utilities and insurance with a few hundred dollars left over but it doesn't leave room to pay for much else. Our newest truck is a 2008 so everything needs maintenance. We have what we need to take care of the community but it's on the basic side of that. That's why they are asking voters to help them make the move towards becoming an emergency services district. This would be an added tax, but you know, the average going through the appraisal district and all the average, it's going to be about $50 per household. It's an investment that means newer equipment and medical training for firefighters to better help serve rural residents. You know, we just want to support and give our community the best that we can. Chief Love says if the proposition is passed, a five-member board would need to be created and that $50 increase in taxes for those living in Hardin County District 5 would start in January. In studio, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.